Scotty. Well, I absolutely Jason love the way Tatum. this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Here's Fall, counted by Adebayo. Pass to Bold. Here's Fall. Clock at four. Poke loose. Now Morant, and they'll turn it over. Couldn't get the shot off. A shot clock violation. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. So Chicago ends up going with a new group. Murray's checked in for Boston. Outside Tatum. And then Tatum slams it in. That's right. This guy is capable of some amazing finishes. Jason Tatum, my goodness. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Back to O'Neal. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot. But right now, this guy is cooking. Here's James. Oh, and the jam by James. LeBron James, ever the showman with an exceptional slam there. One of the best dunkers in the history of the game. And out of bounds, it'll be Chicago ball. What has to excite you about Jason Tatum is how consistently he puts work in to perfecting his craft. His idol is Kobe Bryant. He is a guy that wants to continue and will work to get better. He throws it down with two hands. You know he won't mess that up. Not this guy. He is a big-time finisher. Bryant outside. Inside. Here's O'Neal. Nice move. Rips in the dunk off the timely pump fake. Not putting his head down. He continues to produce with the team trailing. Doris Tatum has already accomplished so much early on in his career. Yeah, but you get the sense this guy is nowhere near finished. Jason Tatum is a guy who wants to be seen as an all-time great when his career is said and done. He is someone you can count on to give you everything he's got. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, guys, the NBA markets itself behind its star players, but Commissioner Adam Silver understands what makes the game tick. He said, quote, this is a team Two sport. In order to in truly third. win championships Two and minutes. compete at the highest level, all the players have to come together. So true, Allie. Thank you. Oh, that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Here's O'Neal. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. Just such a terrific dunk. Man, born to fly, that's for sure. The three from Mitchell, and count it. Now Donovan five Mitchell. for seven. Now this three is points. what we've come to expect from Donovan Mitchell, a high percentage three-point scorer who doesn't miss opportunities Tony like Bryan. this. And the slam was so good. But the dribble move he made to get there was a thing of beauty. Absolutely. What a He's slick play. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Here's Duncan, checked by Gasol. And here's Bryant outside, fires in the triple. Bryant's got seven points in the game. I hear this guy reads situations so well, and he knows how to execute. Oh, and Johnson Magic slams Johnson. it in. Ooh, bouncy. That should give him a nice lift. Good timing. They needed that one. Well, sometimes it's about taking it into your own hands. That kind of individual play Donovan could spark Mitchell. his group. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. To the left side wing. Here's Embiid. It's off. And so it's Boston in control with a 16-point advantage heading into the break. How about the way they've attacked the paint? This throwback approach is paying off. We'll be right back.
All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And for Boston, we've got Mitchell. Also, Murray out there. Joel Embiid is out there with Kawhi Leonard. And it's Gasol Three. in at the four. Grant, we always talk about great footwork for post players, but how about perimeter players? You know, I'm glad you brought that up, B.A. Great perimeter players have elite footwork. The footwork helps to create the opportunity to score, whether that's shooting a three off the dribble or even in the post up. Great, elite, fantastic, iconic guards who could do it all have superior footwork. Believe that. I know he's got to be frustrated right now, but the team is fighting from behind. He's got to stay with it. Three on three. That shot is good by O'Neal. Transition basketball, the most reliable way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Donovan His arrow's been trending up as of late, and he's been magnificent tonight. For Chicago, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Here's Bryant, and then Bryant with the dunk. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Intercepted. Let's go with a three, and that's up and in. Five for 12 in this game. Since halftime, they've been chucking up more shots from beyond the arc, trying to score in chunks. And Mitchell with the slam. Donovan Mitchell is more than capable of carrying an offense for stretches. Right now, the defense has nothing for him. Here's Bryant. And he gets it to go, hitting Holy off the back of the rim. Bryant's got seven points for the quarter. Oh, what a crafty move, causing the defender to pause right there. Mitchell against Johnson. Oh, and Johnson with a block. Here's Bryant, guarded closely. Takes the three. He buries it from three. Bryant's got 15 Holy points Holy. here in the second half. They're having a good half offensively, shooting over 50% from the field now, trying to close the gap. Murray passes to Embiid. And stolen by Murray. Now here's Embiid. It's good. Joel and the assist Embiid. goes to Murray. And the Celtics lead by 13. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Celtics. You have to be a fan of the energy they played with on the defensive end. Active hands and feet, and it's come up big a few times for them. Another thing I thought they did well was pressure. They forced a ton of turnovers, turned those opportunities into points. Mitchell, the pass to Murray. Fires the three, and no good. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. And then Bryant Holy with the dunk. Yeah, you can feel the temperature rising in this arena. Both teams pouring it on offensively. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two. Here's Embiid. It goes again. Joel His sixth Embiid. basket and seven tries. The control and focus from Embiid. Able to absorb hits from the defense and still finish. Here's Bryant. Plenty of space. Then try it with the dunk. Bad idea leaving him open. He needs more defensive attention, not less. Boston has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Here's Embiid. Chicago grabs the miss. It's stolen by Leonard. Embiid finds Murray. Fires for three. The rebound by Duncan. Absolutely tenacious guy. Stuck right on him defensively. Bothered that shot. There you go. He's a monster at the rim. So athletic. Obviously, he plays on the attack. Out to Leonard. Gasol in a high post. He's against O'Neal. Back to Leonard. Just five on the clock. 
Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Got a line change here from Austin. Chicago has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Pass to Duncan. It's stolen by Howard. Now the Celtics on the move. Anadokounmpo, right side. And Giannis with the dunk. <laughs> when Giannis starts to drive, the defense knows it's in trouble. He powers right through them. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Chicago with the ball. Seven-point differential to the middle. Bryant. It's not going to go for him. Ooh, some solid defense from Gilgis Alexander. Knocks it loose. Here we go. Pass to O'Neal. Here's Garnett. Yeah! Kevin Garnett. Uh, showing again why he's a champion, rising to the challenge. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Magic Johnson. First personal foul. First team foul. Here's James. And that one drops. Boy, that's a bang-bang play on the inbound the pass. I like those quick hitters. So we see the Celtics get Thank the win here. here this we was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them. Again. They had to dig deep to come out on top. Yeah, you know, some teams might buckle under the pressure towards the end. The crowd was so amped up, such a hostile environment. But they stood tall and got the win. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Doris Burke, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in.